Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creative Connections Readings. My name is Jean. And this is going to be a collective reading. So if you resonate with the title, it's probably your reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know the vibes, you know how it goes. So, um, this, like, so last night I was lying in bed and I actually experienced, um, you know, this group that's been coming up, like, j just the darkness, let's say, the enemy. Um, but sending a lot of like energetic like attacks towards the children because I feel like they've been realizing that um, uh, even though the children are light beings as well, the the light beings are too strong. Okay, the the those those of us that have been doing the work that have been healing that are in light that are consistently trying to be in light. Okay, um, so and then this morning God told me like like put an intention to do a reading for that. And so I'm going to do that now, okay? Death, rebirth, destiny. So definitely there was, yeah, definitely, I feel like, okay, first of all, definitely um, these people have been sending some kind of death magic to you, not only your finances, uh, for people to not gift to you, for people to um, see you in a, in a certain way, for people to... Um, just not like you, okay? Um, I feel like th there's also been kind of this death magic done on the child, right? On the children, on the on the innocence. Because again, I feel like these people, these like really dark satanic uh, mothos. Um, I'm hearing. I've had enough. Like I feel like the karmic, the karma has been backfiring, and now they're trying to target the children, right? Um, for some of you, they might be trying to gift you something in order to actually like have you in some kind of weird. Um, wounded space as well i'm also seeing 144 as i'm saying that okay um so just be aware of the gifts that you're receiving but there was definitely a lot of like destiny magic done um for some of you this group is part of your your masculine or your feminine is part of this group or this karmic is part of of, of this group doing this to have your masculine okay a lot of like things being done behind the dark um yeah this was all done for love or is being done for love okay against some kind of earth angel there um but i see you having some kind of success what is this death card about um i do remember saying at some point at some point maybe at some point somebody is gonna lose like a child i remember saying like in the womb or something um maybe that is also like a karmic repercussion um for one of these karmics in the group or i just see a lot of like i'm hearing a lot of death incoming okay and that is also again why they're targeting the children now it's because they know that like their time is up or that like death is on their doorstep or something queen of fire yeah there was a lot of fucking dark magic done a lot of death magic a lot of graveyard spells a lot of um like i'm even hearing like 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 i'm, I'm hearing specifically mind manipulation even though this isn't the queen of swords the queen of fire is the occult bitch okay the occultic no knowing person in in the in the tarot so um a lot of magic was done here okay and again i feel like balance i feel like this death mm, i feel like this death energy needs to come in to bring some kind of balance i feel like in order for some kind of balance to come in not only with this group not only um with everybody's fucking life i feel like somebody is gonna have to pass away um, I feel like in order for divine justice to be <clears throat> played out, somebody's going to have to die, quite honestly. I feel like, I feel like God is going to, God is going to maybe even spare a child um, and instead take a grown ass person. Okay. Which I feel like is more than fair. Okay. Uh, not that I wish this upon anybody, but Hey, like if you, like if the person juggled these kinds of energies, if they like mess around with death magic and shit, like. Uh, what can what, what can we say, right? Um, they definitely tried messing with your destiny. A lot of timeline spells, a lot of timeline jumping. I'm even hearing here um, a lot of like dream work, okay? A lot of dream spells in order to get some kind, like get ahead of you specifically is what I'm hearing. Uh, whether this be in your career or just like um, in regards to love, again, okay? I feel like somebody is like doing the most in order to um, seem like they're the proper choice or something. Um, I don't feel like you care though. I feel like you've 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 left. <laughs> um, I wanted to say, I feel like you've left the situation completely, and now, um, I don't know, like, 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 I feel like God is wanting to claim a life, I feel like God is wanting to claim a life, okay, eight of swords and the seven of wands in reverse, I feel like God is claiming a life in some kind of purgatory situation even, I even feel like for, for, for some of you, um, this queen of fire is going to be, is going to be targeted not only by this entity or by this death magic that she sent or he sent, but I also feel like that this group is going to, um, eventually 
completely like exclude her or sacrifice her in order to try and bring in some balance okay um yeah i feel like this queen of fire this queen of fire tried to bring a lot of imbalance to your life whereas you were just consistently trying to build balance trying to build um just healing like healing vibes for yourself i feel like this person was very um conniving was very jealous of you I'm, I'm i'm also hearing that it's this person that put up this whole group against you or something like that okay i feel like this person might have gone behind the scenes a lot to try and like make you uh with this group specifically maybe even with the family seem a certain way okay I'm um, depending on how intense the energy was that was sent to you, uh, collective. I feel like this person is 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 actually already losing like family members. I feel like somebody is um losing some kind of somebody's losing life. Somebody's losing a life, and I feel like for some of you, again, depending on how intense this death magic was, um, it could be like multiple people losing their lives. This could even be like a whole karmic family or something like that. Um, like maybe this this karmic and her or his family was doing something against you as well. Um, yeah, for a two of cups situation, but this is a complete two of cups in reverse. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, oh my God, justice as well. Like when I, when I saw these cards, I got this intense thing. I feel like what's going to happen to this karmic very specifically, like, I feel like it's going to start off with the specific karmic. Like as soon as the group, like sacrifices them and they're going to have no choice, ha sacrifices this person. And, and again, I feel like they're going to have no choice, even if they knew that sacrificing this person wasn't going to work. They're still going to have to like throw this person under the bus in some way. Anyway, I feel like everything's going to happen to this karmic first. And that's going to be some kind of like foreshadowing for what happens to the group. Okay. I feel like this person is not only going to be experiencing like a death with their two of cups situation that they tried to like with your masculine with your feminine that like that they try to take or steal you know the karmic stealing the soulmate or whatever but are they really your soulmate if they were stolen so easily you get what i'm saying anyway um not only is there going to be a complete death to this two of cups situation or there already has i feel like this person is about to start losing a lot of family members and again i feel like the people the group is already seeing this or they're gonna see this or what i feel like they're already seeing some kind of intensity happening and i feel like they they know that what is going to be happening and what is happening to this karmic is some kind of foreshadowing uh for what's going to happen uh to them okay the queen of wands again <laughs> I'm hearing no escape, and I'm also hearing that song. No mercy, I show no mercy. Something like that. Okay, the Prince of Cups reverse. Um, again, I feel like, again, I feel like, um, people. I get again. I feel like they they try to like really stop some kind of love offer from coming towards you. I even feel like I even feel like you saying something like this. You might have even told your person or somebody that this is what's happening. This is what's gonna happen. And I feel like they try to make you seem unhinged or something like that, or like you are like dark or something. But like this, it was this karmic the whole time working in the background because she wanted the d like like literally she wanted like your your masculine's energy or something okay um i feel like i feel like 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 this is this is only just starting okay i feel like this group the hierophant reverse with the seven of wands i feel like this group is already starting to feel this energy backfiring or they have for a while now um and i feel like it's about to start ramping up i feel like you also need to know the more you heal or the better you do the more these people are going to be um really struggling okay they're going to be struggling um let's get into this deck And again, I'm, and again, I'm hearing this was, but, but I do feel like this was some kind of like ordained something, some kind of, I don't want to say ordained because like, you know, but like, I don't know, a lot of you feel like this was a very properly ordained something. Um, either way, like if, whether it was or not, like somebody did a lot to, 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 to stop you from, from just being happy. Okay. To stop you from just having wish fulfillment or, or emotional fulfillment. Um, somebody did a lot to stop you completely. And I feel like the only way this is going to be balanced out is by somebody um, g giving their life, quite honestly, okay? For some of you, I feel like this karmic doesn't even care whether they are losing people in their family. Um, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody, so, something was supposed to be happening. Some Something was supposed to um, transpire. Some kind of offer was supposed to be made. 
um, or some kind of apology maybe even. But um, there was like a complete death to the situation again because of some kind of magic. And now this death magic, because this is like, I feel like this karmic, um, the hermit reverse, I feel like this karmic and this group um, interfered with some kind of like something that was supposed to be birthed into new earth. Okay, something that was supposed to be some kind of new world thing. Um, and they put a death to that. That And the penalty for, yeah, some kind of... Um, some kind of victory, some kind of something was supposed to be delayed or some kind of love offer. You know, again, two of cups, as I'm saying that was, was delayed or it, there was just a complete death to it. Um, but this was supposed to be something in the new world. And because, um, because that timeline was killed, was murdered, there's some kind of like, um, like justice and 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 again i'm feeling this isn't like prison or something this justice that needs to come through um after after some kind of spiritual prison needs to come some kind of death or something okay um yeah i, I again i feel like that's the only way this this the the, the scales are going to be balanced or something like i'm hearing a life or a life or something um because again, somebody like murdered your or tried to murder your destiny or they were successful, but like your destiny is going to be better than it would have been anyway, because that's the grace of God uh, collective. But um, it's like an eye for an eye kind of vibe. Yeah, um, somebody, some, somebody, somebody might even just um, have a rapid deterioration in health. OK, um, I also feel like somebody might actually get shot or wounded. Somebody may, I don't know, somebody's going to get into some kind of conflict, maybe even. Either way, like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like this is going to be, I'm even hearing for, for some of you, like, like God isn't going to make this death quick. It's going to be like a lifelong process. And then somebody's like going to die alone and struggling and unhealthy and sickly. Okay. Um, like in, in the worst way possible. And again, I feel like, I feel like even, even death, death, Jesus, two of pentacles, um, the devil. I even feel like if it is, if this karma is something that takes like a lifetime, um, it's going to start off with this karmic and then it's going to progress more and more. And like this group is going to see it happening to her, knowing that it's happening to them. Um, uh, but, but like it's starting now. I feel like this karmic is a lot. This karma is a lifelong thing or something. So for some of you, again, depending on the energy, depending on how intense this magic was that was sent, for some of you, that it's going to be like a quick death, like a sudden, very brutal death and then hellfire. And for some of you, it's just going to be a long process of karma, a long process of needing to pay off or try to pay off debt or something, okay? Autumn release the olden rest. I actually saw that card in my in my third eye, like talking. Um, I feel like this release the olden rest is like I actually feel like like God is taking out the trash. Um, uh, for some of you, again, for some of you, this could take a while with this person and this group, but like God wants to make some kind of not an apology. God may, wants to make some kind of an example of what is of, of what transpired here. Specifically, is what I'm hearing, and I feel like God wants to show people, like even though He is infinitely graceful and infinitely forgiving, uh, the only sin that is not forgiven is is when you knowingly like reject the Holy Spirit, when you knowingly reject the truth, right? Um, and I feel like that's what this person specifically and these people did. Okay, so I feel like there's about to be some kind of initiation some kind of start in a death energy um, for some kind of karmic person and then ultimately also the group okay i'm getting nobody's getting out alive or something like that um but like even spiritually speaking okay i feel like these people are, are about to be like very afraid they're about to be very wounded um i actually feel like they're already very wounded i i, I just I don't know, like these people, this energy, like I feel them like scurrying away or trying to scurry away. Okay. And again, I feel like, like, like God kind of had enough once they, once they started like sending this energy to your children or to your child or something like that. Okay. Collective. So do you know, like God is finally taking out the trash. God is like releasing this, um, God is taking out this trashy energy because like they don't want to stop or they don't want to let this go and they continuously want to be evil, you know. So God is like making an example of them or God is about to make an example of somebody and then make an example of the rest, okay. So yeah, thank you so much, Collective. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing and then we'll see you again for another one. Bye.